Introducing the all-new StageQ app Wi-Fi Q Lite system. Simply start up the iPad 8 Channel Master Controller. Then, using the same Wi-Fi network, start up to 8 remote apps on either iPhone, iPad, tablet or Android phones. You will see that they connect fast and automatically. Here we show a mix of phones and tablets loading onto the iPad controller. Simply assign a preferred channel as they load. This startup screen is on a Nexus 5X, but is identical on any platform. All devices find the iPad automatically within seconds. If they lose the connection, say by taking a call, simply restart the app to reconnect. All remotes are connected. Tap on the yellow buttons and hit Preset. This works in the same way as wired systems, in that pressing Standby or Go on the left will trigger all selected channels. The flashing red standby buttons shown here are being acknowledged on the remote apps, one by one. Here, we show a close-up of one of the remotes. See how clear and uncluttered the display looks? Press the red flashing light to stabilize the light and send an OK back to the main desk. When Go lights up, there is no need for a response. The blue Clear All button returns all lights to off. Clicking on the current Q text brings up an editable text box. Show what you like in here, but keep it brief to show up on remotes in landscape mode. Cues can have a very varied selection of channels programmed against them. Simply select the appropriate yellow buttons. Press preset and then move on to the next cue with the up down arrows to repeat the process. This can then be exported to Dropbox. It can also load up a CSV file created in Excel. Clicking on Start Stop will start the timer in green. The timer in red is the current time, as set by the iPad. Click on Show Name to change that to your show name. The Wi-Fi icon top right brings up a further dialog. Delete Channels. Reset Queue Data. Save Queue Data to Dropbox. Load Queue Data from Dropbox. All of these actions can only be performed if no remotes are loaded and the show is not in a live state. Here, we show the ability to text one channel or all channels. Please note that the remote phone will need to be in landscape mode in order to respond with a message. The great benefit of the texting message is that the iPad controller can see when a message has been received by the orange light, or if it has been clicked when the light under the message turns green. The Remote Phone App Available on either Apple or Android devices, meaning that you can have a mix of phones, iPads or tablets. The phone will automatically connect and reconnect if it had to break off to make a call etc. A notification will show on the iPad as to the current state of the connection. Using a phone, we can use the vibrate facility. Simply click it to vibrate on and you can put it in a pocket or desk whilst doing other visual tasks. The phone will pulse vibrate if a red standby command is sent. You will still need to press standby to stop the buzzing. When green is sent, it gives a long continuous buzz so that you can easily distinguish both. Never miss a cue. In landscape mode, more additional features now show. Cue messages in green now show under existing cue numbers. Plus, we have introduced a message main desk button. Here, you can send a discrete message solely to the iPad controller. You will get a message back saying message sent successfully when received. Stage Q. Keeping your show connected wirelessly. Available on the Apple and Android stores. Check out www.stageq.eu for links to where to buy and more.